Hi everyone, Yugi here and today we're going to talk about the latest software update for the Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 and S7 Plus. It is more likely an improvement towards multitasking and ease of use when browsing the internet. If you haven't updated your software, you can just go to settings and scroll all the way down to software update. I already updated mine so here are the latest features that Samsung has added. We do now have a latest feature for labs, multi-windows, edge panel, and the master picture. The first thing that we're going to talk about is the edge panel feature. The edge panel looks pretty similar to this but this UI is much better than before. With the new update, you can now press the pin button and now you can get a sort of like a taskbar that you can pin any apps that you want. It is also customizable so you can still add multiple apps in the edge panel. The only downside to this is that it lessens the screen size a bit just like this so if you wanted to have a bigger screen you can just you know, put it back to normal by pressing the unpin button. As for the multi-window update feature, having multiple windows gives you a bit of restriction when dragging a window before like there's only certain parts of the screen that you can adjust your window to. But with this update, it's much smoother the way they expand through the screen. You can also rotate your window however you want. And by holding this blue line, it will convert this window to a pop-up window, just like this. So you can still browse things on the other window. As for the remaster picture, by going to your gallery, let's say this one, I mean just click any picture on your gallery and here we have the remaster picture option. What it does is that it analyzes the picture itself, like you can now manually adjust the picture. Um, I don't know if you can see this but this one's kind of blurry so there's also a before and after edit so you can really monitor what's happening when editing a picture like this. The other feature that Samsung has added is called Labs. So just go to your settings and under advanced features you can now enable apps to be open like to be open in multi-window but they do have text mode so I don't know if you guys want to use this. And this pin app is for the edge panel so make sure you enable this. Moving on to show apps in landscape, it's like forcing an app to be open in landscape but again you have dex mode for this. Normally when you open an app like um, Instagram, you ought to use it vertically but this feature, it forces the application to be in landscape mode. You can now choose in this three option and how you want to your screen, I mean the screen ratio you want for your app like it has like the app default app ratio and the full screen one but the full screen one is kinda like it stretches the screen itself you can't like you can't even see the whole picture so there's a trick to an app like this like the one in my home screen it kinda has like the desktop view so whenever you open this it's like you're opening the Instagram app in your PC or laptop so for you to do this you just need to go to Samsung browser and let's say we have Instagram here just go to tools click add to and choose if you want to put this on your home screen so yeah so this wraps up the latest software update of Samsung, hope that Samsung still supports the Galaxy Tab S7 and S7 Plus lineup in the future. This is Yugi and see you all again in the next Kenshin video.